And one more thing. Chain Company offers a free lifetime warranty that even covers the center stone. When it comes to having your jewelry taken care of, you're set for life. By the way, congratulations. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business. Shane Company and Shaneco.com. Are you thinking about getting a new TV this week at prime prices? Maybe a Samsung, LG, or a Sony? Before you click, you should check out video only because they've got below prime deals. That's right. Top-rated TVs at better than online prices. Curbside pickup or home delivery are available. Don't click before you call video only. Because if you do, you'll be sorry. Big tobacco cigarette butts does practically nothing and are made of microplastics that are toxic and cutting. More than 15,000 fibers lurk in every cigarette butt you see. Could they harm your families? Quite possibly. They could end up inside of you, your bodies, their prey. New studies even indicate possible links to mutations in DNA. An evil lie with the future's worth of harm. To the world that you know, so sound the alarm. Learn more at undo.org. There's magic in the world. People will tell you there isn't. They just want you to get back to work, be quiet, and not ask questions. Those people need 1-800-GOT-JUNK. When you've seen the magic and felt the magic, you can no longer deny the magic. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. And now we pause for a word from Charlotte, the junk fairy. A friend is a person who always brings a little magic with them. Be a friend. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK. .com. ATBS News Time 12:58. We are first with traffic on the eighth, and Dave Fox joins local dealers, uh, local Honda dealers traffic center. We still have major bark delays for the Antioch line. There is a stalled train inside the Berkeley Hills Tunnel, so that means uh, trains are now single tracking in the other tunnel between uh, Rockbridge and Orinda, so it's speculates both directions between Antioch and San Francisco. Better news in San Jose, northbound 87 before Kirtner. We had a grass fire about one acre, but fire department has it under control. They're going to stick around for a little while to make sure there are no flare-ups, but the right lane is blocked northbound 87, and traffic is backed up before Kirtner. Better news again, in case you missed it, westbound 92 has been shut down for about three hours at Skyline Boulevard due to a police investigation. That is over. Highway 92 is reopened in both directions between Skyline Boulevard and Half Moon Bay. For more, follow us on Twitter at KCBS AM FM Traffic. Your next update, 108 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Signs today after the morning fog and overcast conditions burn to the coast. 60s at the beaches, 70s by the bay, mid 80s inland. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on all news 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. It is Tuesday, July 12th, 2022, and coming up on KCBS. Yosemite National Park will push through all they can to slow the Washburn fire, which is threatening homes and a famous grove of redwoods in the park. I'm Jeffrey Schaub in Mill Valley. This week's team ties underscore plans to address major flooding in southern Maroon. And the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th assault today focused on connections between President Trump and his allies. I'm Rick McCarty.
Dr. Ashish Jha. If you've not gotten a vaccine shot this year, go get one now. It could save your life. In California, 25% of a huge wildfire at Yosemite National Park is now contained, but the sequoias are no longer in danger. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti is there. The fire crews actually carved out a perimeter around the trees to protect them from the flames. They had also previously put down water sprinklers to get water on the trunk. This is something that park rangers tell me they have never done in the history of the park. President Biden met with Mexico's president today to discuss trade and migration. My administration is leading the way to creating work opportunities through legal pathways. I mean, that last year, my administration set a record issuing more than 300,000 H2 visas for Mexican workers. Meantime, First Lady Jill Biden is apologizing to the Hispanic community. As distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. She uh, criticized the National Association of Hispanic Journalists tweet, Latinos are shaped by their culture, not tacos. Emmy nominations are in today, and Succession led the pack with 25 nods, including Best Drama, South Korean Squid Game, also up in the category, and comedies Ted Lasso and Hacks are up for multiple awards. This is CBS News. Dell's Black Friday in July sale is here, with savings on top-rated business computers with Intel Core processors. Upgrade today by calling 877-ASK-DELL. It's 103 at the Bay Area's news station, KCBS. Marine layer is breaking up over the bay. We have fog at the coast and sunshine inland. Good afternoon. In for Rebecca Corral. I'm Brett Burkhart. Here's what's happening. Weather continues to be a major factor today for fire crews battling the nearly 3,000-acre Washburn fire inside Yosemite National Park. KCBS's Megan Goldsby reports from Oakhurst, just outside the park. This fire may have initially grown quickly after it started on Thursday, but now it's not gaining much ground, says Mark Ruggiero with Yosemite Fire, because it takes so long for mature trees to burn. And these are large, very large trees that built a lot of homes in California. So these trees take a long time to cool off, and often that's the problem why we're not opening up roads and things, because these trees cause a problem when they're still burning, and if we can't cut them down, they'll fall across the road, they'll fall across the people. So we have to be very careful. So residents of Wawona, the small town inside the park boundary, which is evacuated, are being told there's no estimate for when they will be able to get back home. So you can imagine how that extends to you if you have a vacation planned in Yosemite in the next few weeks. They should continue to check the park website. They should continue to check with any hotels or where they may be staying lodging-wise. And just keep checking to condition where conditions will change. And if they, you know, the park is open, we just have to go around the, the long way. The fire is still threatening the Mariposa Grove of giant sequoias, but Ruggiero says they've been doing prescribed burns in the area for 50 years, and they're using sprinklers to keep the tree roots wet as the fire approaches. The exact cause is not known, but he says this fire was started by a human. There have not been any lightning strikes or high winds in the area. In Yosemite, Megan Goldsby, KCBS. From fires to floods, this week's King Tides are a reminder to residents that Southern Marin County that something needs to be done to reduce major flooding, which occurs alongside Highways 1 and 101. As KBS's Jeffrey Schaub reports, the state has set the wheels in motion to do just that. Every year for 11 years, it were furniture at Nova Outdoor Living, and every year, several times a year, it floods. It's creep up, and of course, they close the exit so nobody can get in and out of here. This store and other businesses along the stretch of a Highway 101 access road are cut off during King Tides, as are the exits to Marin City and portions of Mill Valley. Now, Caltrans will use state money to study what could be a billion dollar effort to hold back Mother Nature. How do you feel about the fact that? State is going to finally address this. Highway is a pretty busy off ramp, and when they have to close it, it creates a lot of problems for the people that here that live in Mill Valley. Once construction trucks roll through here later this decade, Caltrans could raise the section of Highway 101 and the Marin City off ramp, build a 700 foot long seawall as well. State money has also been allocated to address major flooding along Highway 37 in Nevada. In Mill Valley, Jeffrey Schaub.
CBS. San Francisco's new district attorney is promising prosecution of open-air drug dealers who are repeat offenders. KCBS's Marky Schaefer reports from the Tenderloin District, where drug use was on display across the street from where the DA offered remarks. Near the Phoenix Hotel on Eddy Street, addiction, mental illness, drug dealing, and use are all in view. Rand is director of the Tenderloin Housing Project. He gave the district attorney a tour of the open-air drug dealing, went up 300 block of Hyde, 600 block of... It was quite a scene. And newly appointed district attorney Brooke Jenkins wants that scene to change, telling Tenderloin residents and business owners she's committed to ending open-air drug dealing. So that the kids and the people who live here can go about their daily lives without being scared and without thinking that this is normal. She wants to review plea offers now on the table to get a better understanding in crafting policy with more accountability, saying surveillance video will aid in prosecution. I want to continue to walk this neighborhood uh, regularly so that I see what's going on here and see whether the policies that we're implementing are making a difference. Adding repeat offenders will be treated differently than first-time offenders. In San Francisco's Tenderloin, Marty Schaefer, KCBS. Just ahead on KCBS. This is Matt Bigler in Palo Alto. Why engineers are relieved and saddened that the James Webb Space Telescope is working so well. What an astonishingly beautiful picture. First, though, we need to update your drive. It's 108 at KCBS, the traffic meter. And Dave Fox joins us with a look at that fire burning in San Jose. Yeah, it's a real problem for northbound 87. This is before you get to Kerner's brush fire on the hillside off to the right side. The San Jose Fire Department telling us the fire is under control. It burned at least an acre or so, but the fire department is hanging out to make sure it doesn't get out of control again. And while they do that, the two right lanes are blocked. Northbound 87 before Kerner. That's why we took not a body collision cam. We've got bumper to bumper conditions from before Capital Expressway. You might want to stay on 85 and 17 as a go around or Highway 101. But quite a little bit parkway, pretty sold out right now, headed northbound uh, with just one lane to open. The rest of the drive. Pretty nice right now in case you missed it. Westbound 92 had an earlier closure on your way to Alpine Bay. It has been reopened. Highway 92, both directions open in San Mateo County. Starting to slow down a little bit in San Francisco. Eastbound 80 from 101 getting onto the lower deck of the Bay Bridge. Westbound 80 had some crashes at Ashby. Had one up now. Everything is clear. Residual slow traffic though is going to be from the down to now when you are under the speed limit. And park delays continue on the Antioch line. A train stalled out in the Berkeley Hills Tunnel. Single tracking in effect between the Rockbridge Park Station and a window that leads to delays both directions on the Antioch line for Mark. Your next traffic update is at 118 on the traffic leader. Well, the marine layer is pretty much burned to the coast. We still have remnants over the bay. He's at the beaches today, 70s by the bay, mid-80s inland. Cloudy and cool tonight, lows will be in the 50s. We do have that flood advisory in effect until uh, 1 a.m. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy in the morning, becoming partly sunny throughout the day. Highs will, again, remain in the 60s at the coast, 70s around the bay, mid-80s inland. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 at AM 740 KCBS. Struggling with CPAP? Now there's Inspire, the only FDA-approved obstructive sleep treatment that works inside the body. To treat the root cause of sleep apnea with just the click of a button. No mask, no bones, just sleep. Visit InspireSleep.com to learn more. Are you fed up with your old-fashioned water softener and its time-consuming upkeep? Are you tired of buying bottled water because your tap water is undrinkable? A life source cold house water system is your solution. This is Claire Beverly, and I want to tell you about Life Source, the Bay Area's most recommended cold house water system. Life Source reduces hard water problems like water softeners, but with Life Source, you get more. Unlike water with softeners, you can drink the water from all the faucets. No need to buy expensive bottled water. The bad taste.
Purchase a premium garage door. Call 1-800-FIX-A-DOOR. That's 800-FIX-A-DOOR. Or visit rfdoors.com. R and F Doors. Look for the red. Report sponsored by Personal Capital. Worried about market volatility? What about your retirement? You need Personal Capital. See where you stand and get the free app today at personalcapital.com. Here's Jason Brooks. Regret a late sell off. Wiped out a rally today. The Dow dropped 192 points to 3,181. NASDAQ down 107 to 11,264. SP lower by 35 points to 3818. I'll take a deeper dive into the numbers at 125. 112 at KCBS. Watch continues. Engineers in Silicon Valley are breathing a big sigh of relief. Now that their camera on board the James Webb Space Telescope is working, showing us breathtaking pictures of deep space. KCBS more from Palo Alto. There were lots of wow and gasps as NASA unveiled the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, including stellar nebula. Stars orbiting each other, a death dance to the KCBSRadio.com. In Palo Alto, Matt Bigler, KCBS. Earlier today, the KCBS reported on the arrest of tech CEO John Kevin Woodward. Murder of Lori House, who was the girlfriend of Woodward's roommate at the time. Woodward was tried twice unsuccessfully in the late 1990s for House murder. As part of our coverage, we erroneously reported that Woodward had been acquitted of the House murder. According to a press release from the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office, the case was, quote, missed by a judge for insufficient evidence after a jury could not reach a verdict following the second trial. We apologize for the error. We're going to check in with Ted Ramey next on KCBS. Attention. Are you missing teeth? Bay Area Mini Dental Implant Center has a solution for you. So I heard on the radio about Bay Area Mini Dental Centers of America. Uh, why not go to the center? This is the first time I've had an implant that was Really, really massive basis. Um, it was within an hour. The whole process was done after you know after you put in the implant. And I'm not going to be back for the film. It was great. Thank you. Replacing missing teeth is as easy as one, two, three. Come to our free consultation and find out what we can do for you. Call Bay Area Mini Dental Implant Center. We got mini. Eight three three got mini. Have you been told you don't have enough bone? Mini implants require less bone than traditional implants. That's 833-466-6464 for a truly free financing available. On to the sports desk with Ted Rainey. Ahead of the upcoming Open Championship, Tiger Woods is talking about the golfers that are leaving the PGA Tour with a rival Liz Golf Series with greater ramifications that could happen. I disagree with this. I think that what they've done is they've turned their back on what has allowed them to get to this position. Some players have never had a chance to even experience it. They've gone right from the amateur ranks right into you know, that organization. They've never really got a chance to play out here and what it feels like to play a tour schedule or to play some big events. That's Woods speaking at a press conference for the 150th Open Championship at St. Andrews. Woods also pointed out that we are dealing with many unknowns. You know, who knows what, what's going to happen in, in the near future with World Ranking Point, uh, criteria for entering major championships. Um, the, the governing bodies have to figure that out. And, and these players may, may not ever get a chance to play.